So we're here at Save Expo. It is the third and final day. We're making a rounds of the vendor area. We're over here at the Dobbinson's booth, checking out some awesome rigs here. And we have Chris with us with his awesome 2004 GX470 build. He recently got it wrapped brown. And we're gonna just go through and talk with him a little bit about some of the build details. There's all sorts of pretty awesome, unique, custom things done to this thing. And uh, Chris, I guess we'll just start off with the front end. It looks like you got a front bumper here, and I guess mm -hmm. we'll talk a little bit about what you got going on here. You got here. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a looming party on this one. Um, so yeah, uh, basically I have one of the first modular bumper from Descent Off-Road. Ben's awesome people. I've had it since the first batch. You know, I switched it up the, the bullet lights a little bit. That They normally usually come in all amber, but mm -hmm. uh, I wanted like, I wanted like white and um you know obviously amber and like a like, nice little side marker yeah, like, look like side, side marker look uh basically just you know lp6s uh super you yeah know, super, these things super, are awesome super bright uh, i was i was thinking of getting the lp9s but i feel like the lp6s was a better profile so that way it doesn't cover up the grill uh, yeah. for you know airflow and all that stuff um uh it's yeah, a nice it's, flex i got the usual you know like a trd grill that yeah. everybody <laughs> runs um looks like you did a little uh vinyl yeah a little a little, a little like uh subtle you know details like a topo that's actually my custom spec uh that i had printed nice. locally because i couldn't find anything online that i liked that looks and great. shout outs to mvp tune mono by phil k-line king i remember i've had the gx for a very long time and uh I did remember seeing like, you know, back in the day when everyone was running chrome grills on the truck yep. and uh, you see people like make eyelids and I always like wondered how it would look. So when I was wrapping I like the, it. I was wrapping the truck, I was like, you know what? I want to make the headlights look like uh, IS300, like Altezza mm -hmm. look instead of like the bubbly GX470, like big eyed, you know, like, you know, yeah, like it gives a headlights. It a nice lower profile, sharper. A more bit, aggressive, a little look. more mean. You, yeah. You know? So um, and I like that it follows in from the the body line. line. That was it key. It goes right in, and it's it's yep. smooth. I guess to follow up on what you said there about you've had the GX for a while. You, I think you had mentioned yesterday when we were talking. Yeah. 2012 ish. Yeah, roughly. 2012. Yeah. So I've, yeah, I've you've owned had the truck it for 12 years now. For a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Over a decade. Over a decade. That's, that's for sure. Awesome. So it's gone through probably many different transformations. Yes. Since, uh, yes. Yes. I guess one of the things I wanted to uh, transition to, since we're already over on this side, is. You got the TE 37s. Yeah, the, on here. the wheels I've actually owned longer than the truck. Really? I bought the wheels before I, <laughs> I bought the wheels before I bought the truck. Uh, those are the original uh, sticker models, the OG T37 uh, Axis 16 by 8 uh, zero offset, and yeah. um, zero offset's awesome. Yeah, zero offset. But I nice. do have yeah, I do have um, uh, spider tracks on there. You know, like uh, that's like the starter pack. You know for. For us I love GX that. guys, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then um, behind the wheel, I'm sure you guys can see it. There's a lot of trial and error uh, with getting like a big brake kit. Not only fit on a GX, like it was one of the first GX with 16s on. Yes. Um, so I did the whole conversion. I had ta Tacoma brakes before. Okay. So uh, I actually uh, hit up a guy, a fella from uh, Panama City, uh, SOS Performance. Shout out to SOS Performance. <laughs> he hooked me up with uh, six piston uh, stop techs with two piece rotors. Wow. race car stuff the reason why i did that is i'm sure when we transition to the back it'll make a lot more sense main reason is the lra tank the added weight is just factory brakes downsize the rotor to a tacoma fj size the truck just won't stop that's so incredible. i needed i needed stopping power that's for sure yeah most people would do a double take you know like it's like are those ogt 37 x's they never came 17s in that oh, okay. look so when people see the stickers, they know it's 16. So like, how did you fit 16? <laughs> but that's always been a question that I always had to answer. Actually, fun fact is that my 35s are getting delivered tomorrow and I missed the event. Oh, so, um, yeah. so you'll have 35 soon? Yes, yes, yes. Probably awesome. next week. You know, I've already didn't done the work for the 35s. Hopefully I don't have to relocate the cab mount. Mm -hmm. But um, other than that, I think it should be, it should be okay. I think it looks great, and yeah. the ridge grapplers are an awesome tire to go. Yes, with. yes, yes. I'm on my fourth set. Yeah, it's just like a you know typical you know like tubular um, uh, Dobbinsons. Uh, I have two and a half inch. Uh, this is God, I can't. Yes, it's a two and a half inch. Not super aggressive, you know. Like I, d I didn't want to do the three because it makes the tires look smaller. You know, full RCI skids uh, on it. Uh, door control arm skids too. Yes, yes. Uh, I actually have the the gas shocks. On this oh, on this truck, the okay. the OG Gashaks, I feel like that's their bread and butter. Yeah. You know, like obviously we sell a lot of these like 
race car type um, setups now, but I think that that was the base of the recipe. Uh, let's just uh, address what's going on here. <laughs> yes, yes. So, so I get a lot of questions about this and I apologize for the messages that I've missed. Uh, messenger sucks. So basically these are actually fifth gen Toyota 4Runner uh, side mirrors. You know, I've done a lot of bunch of uh, custom trimming and drilling on the inside of the plastics. You can see it doesn't perfectly line up. If you put like a, you know, some sort of gasket in there to make sure that the water doesn't leak. Uh, the wiring is the fun part, but if you got both, I guess, pinouts for both mirrors, you, you'll be able to figure out the motion. So everything works, heat works. Um, and heat another even. Heat even, yes, wow. yes. Everything's wired up to the factory switches. Is because I'm actually going to use them as side markers. Okay. So I'm going to put an amber bulb in there instead of uh, so it'll light up at night, just solid amber when oh, the headlights nice. are on. So um, I do have the courtesy lights, you know, uh, wired up. This guy yeah. is doing all sorts of crazy mods here. The, on this. the GX doesn't have blind spot monitors, and I'm not planning on putting any. So um, and oh, another another uh, fun feature for this thing is that, I don't know if you can see from here, I have the, the convex mirrors from Taco Cloud. So it's anti-glare okay. um, and it's super helpful on the trails. Uh, you can actually see your back tire without looking over or hunching over. Uh, you can see your back tire if you're like about to clip a tree or a rock wow, or something. Okay. It looks crazy good. I love yeah, it. It's like little things, little yeah, homebrew. So I, call it, I call it Sidewalk Chronicles. So you know, a lot of these things I've done next to the sidewalk. This is something that I wanted to ask you about. Uh -huh. what, what's going on here? It looks like a mirror. And yes, I guess yes. I want to understand your thought behind putting it here and what you use it for. Perfect. Yeah, so uh, I, I pride on most of my builds, uh, not just the GX. Uh, I like period correct things. I like things. Uh, I do enjoy uh, JDM stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so in Japan, um, they have these mirrors that are there. Technically, they're called parking mirrors that it allows you if you're sitting, you know, you know, in the cab or, you know, in the inside the truck, you have a view of your tire. Okay. It's a split view. And you also have a view of your front bumper. So if you're parking street parallel parking or whatever, and also sometimes too, it's kind of cool in the trails. If like I say, you're about to hit like uh, something up front and you're not sure. I know people have cameras now, but yeah. since it's a 120, I figured pay homage to the 120. Yeah. So it's, it's cool because you can like actually, you can actually fold it. Oh, nice. um, you can fold it out of the way if uh, you think you're going to hit something with it, you know, like mm -hmm. close. So, you know, I had a step bit, you know, I just wrapped the truck. I was like, hey, why am I doing this? But then, you know, the moment I felt this satisfying snap. Oh, yeah. OEM plus. It, you know, it's, 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 it's just I can't, you know. It's, I love it. I personally am always dealing with some visibility issues. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just hearing you explain what it's used for and then some of the trail usage for that. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate just the subtle detail of adding something like that. Yeah, because yeah. You don't see that. I mean, I don't see that on any of the rigs here. Yeah, so yeah. But a uh, uh, shout out to, uh, well, at least at least on the socials, there there's a, there is a GX person that has done this, uh, Min Minty GX. Uh, he seen. has he has one of these um, and we've been talking you know quite a bit you know yeah. for, about it uh, right, this is the mint green yes one, right? yes okay. yes I've had this mirror in a box for probably two years <laughs> uh, I just never had the balls to drill my you know because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with the color and all that stuff so figure this final touch it's and top of very awesome and I guess really from here we'll transition to the back but it looks like you got just some Baja Designs ditch lights yes yes and I don't see a snorkel and so that was my last thing on the yes, front yes. end here you uh actually I have um uh, I'm gonna let the car out of the bag it's an awesome moto um exclusive I am in the middle of either uh my fabricator is gonna be making me like a uh stainless pie cut or titanium depending on you know the look mm -hmm. um uh to snorkel like probably like a three inch to a four inch like you know snorkel right. that's gonna have a little twist on it i know there's meredith snorkels that's out um mine's not gonna look anything like that because uh, i have a couple of ideas brewing but you guys should see that soon something i'm definitely gonna have to yes, look out yes, for. And yes. if anybody who's following along interested in checking out this build definitely follow him over on instagram and look out for this new snorkel it's probably <laughs> gonna be another unique custom thing that you're not used to seeing on GXs, so... Uh, it's going to be a Florida thing. Shout out to 2J Truck. <laughs> you know my fabricator. Alrighty, so we're going to switch and transition to the back end of the GX here. I guess the first thing I'm seeing off to the side is your water system. Mm -hmm. So you got that side mounted to your Frenzu rack. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. Got to have that fresh water, fresh running water on the... You can wash um, your boots, you can wash anything. I'm also seeing you got a Yakima 
Yeah, slim, slim Pro, like it's the thinnest that they make. Let's talk about the wrap. I mean, we yeah. should have talked about that first. You called it poopy brown in yeah, the post, a, and it really had me chuckling because <laughs> the post you made in GXR, but yeah. the wrap itself to me is very eye-catching. Appreciate uh, what you. Made you choose it, and I guess what color, what are you calling the color? Yeah, actually, well, now the, the truck's name is uh, Mr. Hanky from yes. South Park. <laughs> that's, that's basically who he is. I've always, I've always liked um, the older Land Cruisers that had like that vintage brown. And I feel like the, the GX uh, or the 120 platform was the last true fender blister, like mm -hmm. looking, you know, like body style. That's kind of like on, you know, obviously in the modern days. I really wanted to, you know, like fit the whole kind of like retro modern like look on the truck. Yeah, uh, since like Toyota has been kind of doing, you know, like the, I didn't want to do, you know, I know knock to the Nardo Gray because I love the Nardo Gray. That was like early on the wish list and then things just like kind of changed. Um, it's like, I really want brown, Yeah. you know? And um, it took me a while, I almost gave up because there's, there's not a right, this was like to me quite literally, it's we're kind of being blessed by the sun. Mm -hmm. Sometimes this color is like super like chocolate brown. Now you can see like there's a little caramel, caramel, yes. whatever, you know, like that sheen to it um, and non-metallic it has the same sheen as like nardo desert desert cavalry blue like that toyota color look yeah, it's almost but like nobody really milkiness yes to it. yes 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 that's that's exactly the color that i was looking for and i almost gave up looking for it but it's it's not your it's not your typical um you know you can't really find it in a vinyl book yeah because they, i went through different rap you know like people <laughs> to find the exact because it's an investment, you know, yeah. like you have to have exactly what you want to have the impact or like your vision, you know, kind of go into like your project. And, you know, I can, ha I can happily say like when I saw the role, I was like, this is going to look like shit, like no pun intended, <laughs> it's going to look like shit. But then when you actually close your eyes and visualize it on the truck, I'm like, that's the correct color. Let's do it. So there's so many cool things going on in the back end here. I guess I want to transition over to your rear taillight. This taillight is actually... It's supposed to be for a 150 uh, that they made uh, to fit a um, 120 chassis. And a lot of people ask me like, hey, why is your taillight look, you know, kind of like hazy or whatever on top of like the Florida sun beating on it. I actually purposely sprayed some matte clear on okay. it yep. to give it that vintage look. And then if you guys can kind of see here, a lot of people asking me about this. This is yes. basically the nickname for my truck. Flux runner. Yes, uh, that's that's basically you know like what I you know what I've been going by, um, and this is actually a magnet. Oh, nice! So I can clean you know like behind there. Uh, everything's the whole truck is ceramic coated, um, and um, what I like about this is like but the anniversary model the uh, the Land Cruiser has the same style badge, like on the on the third on the C pillar, exactly um, and that's the basically the I'm paying homage to like the Land Cruiser DNA so and roots of the truck love it it's so, great it's a great touch it makes everything tied together shout out to Asamoto for the instructional videos <laughs> to install the uh the prado all legit prado trims from japan it's definitely worth getting the oem yes because yes. i tried an amazon just knock off oh yeah you're right yeah i saw it just shrunk in the sun yeah yeah yeah, it lasted maybe a year, so OEM is get what you pay for with OEM, OEM is best, especially with rubber components. Exactly. Yep, yep. So uh, rear tire carrier here. It looks yes. like you got the JW. But Originally, um, this this car actually, I mean, this truck had the hatch mounted JW carrier. Oh, it did. Previously, okay. yes. Um, I was one of the first batches. Never had a problem with it. Followed the instructions to the T. Mm -hmm. I understand certain people. I actually wanted to touch on that. I wanted to clarify a couple of things. A lot of the uh, mishaps that people are having from that, because I had the first batch. Mm -hmm. So if you can imagine, I was early in the R&D. Actually helped uh, Josh, you know, super cool, awesome guy, um, design like the little camera shroud oh, on there. Yep. He actually made that for me. No Cause way. that, cause you know, coming from, you know, growing up in, you know, like I'm coming up from Chicago, when your camera gets covered by the snow, there's not much you can do. You can't see anything, yeah. right? So I said, can, I, can you please make me kind of like a roof for the camera? And he said, he whipped it up. The guy's a genius, comes back later on, like not, not design, the actual metal 
sends me pictures like two hours later. It's like, is this what you're looking for? <laughs> and next thing you know, it kind of like the idea snowballed into something else. Now it's it's like it's an option and standard yeah. on all of it. So shout out to JW. That's awesome. They're, they're an awesome company. When it was time to transition, because I wanted to go to 35s, the idea is that I wanted something that is not connected to the body of the car independent. So I want something frame mounted, you know, for rigidity, you know, and, and just overall longevity. And there's no carrier in the market that's fully bolt on. You can do it yourself. Literally, if you have a $30 RivNut tool from Amazon, you could do this in install. I'm really... And I did it myself. I'm really considering doing it because yeah. just looking at it, I'm, I was always impressed by this new design. But seeing it now in person, it's super It's compact. super. It's super tight. It's yes. close. It has the, the 15 degree angle. It's just, yes. you know, that's, that's how it should look. If you're going down and up out of a ravine or mm -hmm. something, I was very concerned about having the rear mount. But with that 15 degree and yes. the way it just pulls real tight up against the back end here. It's yeah. Just a super and just, and just the, the overall, like, you know, mechanically, it's so engineered well that quite literally it's like the one of the best things I've done on the truck in recent times you know like uh, so I had to like I had to do it a little you know like homage to yeah. you know the company <laughs> That's um, awesome. he's a really good friend of mine I'm looking forward to yeah yeah uh, looking forward to seeing him soon so all right so we're transitioning up underneath it looks like we've got quite a bit going on here let's talk about this tank you got yeah, uh, this is um, uh, this is the Long Range America Auxiliary Transfer Tank. Actually, probably the single best GX specific mod that I've ever done on this truck. I feel like every single person that has a GX 470 should probably like put five dollars away every day, you know, to uh, to make sure that their GX gets one of these because it's quite literally not only that it's the convenience of not having to stop for for 500 plus miles on oh, wow. you know like on on phillips i used to stop every two hours just to make sure that like i don't get stuck in a bad area mm -hmm. you know uh to get gas like at odd odd times of the night you know when you're traveling it's really nice to have that peace of mind thinking that like you can get to the next big town okay. you know i think that was my main reason safety you know i agree with you completely because I, I feel like i have the same issue where i'm constantly i feel like i'm gonna run out of gas when mm -hmm. i go too far off the main path yeah and you know the gx oh yeah the GX just <laughs> She likes, to, she likes to drink. And I guess and with this, do you have to, did you wire in to the gas? Um, so, so basically it has its own switch and gauge combo, which okay. is super brilliant. You know, that's, so you just have to wire the pump. You, okay. ha you have a harness for the switch. You mount it on the dashboard. I'll show, I'll show you guys later when we get to the interior. Best dealer for this tank would be um, uh, Brandon from uh, Redeem Off-Road. Literally, this guy was texting or calling me, uh, answering my questions on a Sunday. Nice. On a Sunday That's remote. Great. So, you know, his motto has always been, you know, like a people over profit, mm -hmm. and it shines through. And I think uh, if you were to buy an LRA tank, you for sure, you know, if you can get it from Brandon, I'm sure you, you won't regret it because it'll help you, like, you That's know, with the install and everything. Y'all know it's insane. I couldn't believe it. Hey, so, I guess you got. Dobinson's in the rear, but it looks like you got a, pan, a custom pan hard bar. Uh, that's actually um, a DR KDSS. Um, okay. That's their bolt on pan hard correction bracket uh, oh. that, that they use, which I actually highly advocate for. Um, you don't have to like weld it. Uh, you don't, you know, it's purely, you know, like bolt on. You can install it in like 15 minutes. And of course, I have the Dobinson's uh, adjustable um, pan hard bar as well. Uh, for all like the micro increments that you really, you know, so you can really dial in the rear axle, especially in the four link. I have the, uh, you know, Dobinson Springs in the back, super cushy. You know, I have like the basic uh, GS uh, shocks on this thing and, you know, you don't really need much on a GX platform. You know, if it works, it works. I love their stuff. Yeah. I love that I chose them for my build. Oh, well. hell yeah, hell yeah. I, got, uh, I have the, my bump stops are uh, uh, sumo springs. Okay. They actually help as, um, since I load the vehicle a lot, since I'm going to be putting 35 soon, I'm actually going to be installing the front 35 specific uh, Perry parts, 3D printed, uh, you know, shots Perry parts. Awesome <laughs> I've, guy. I've been reading a lot of good things. Yes, about yes, yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome person. Um, All right, so yeah, I that's think, about it. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Let's uh, transition up, see what you got in the back. Perfect. So I uh, just wanted to uh, show you guys ease of um, operation. I thought you were going to press a button. It was going to just motorize all of it. Hell yeah. So uh, JW is nice enough to give you a little pin. 
Uh, I got my little custom J Spec builds, a uh, Lux Runner um, nice. pin tag. <laughs> I just want to show you how the ease of operation of this uh, swing out. So I had my own, uh, I made my own um, a backup camera mount out of a carbon fiber plate. I sandwiched it to these like, uh, you know, like M8 bolts that he had on there. Um, so yeah, quite literally you just, uh, just push this back. And it just locks in place. Oh, wow. Um, and, uh, you know, I had this like, I'm sure people at GXOR have seen this, but um, I wasn't a fan of zip ties on the molly which a lot of people do mm -hmm. so um i have a little bit of obsession with rubber so my cable management nice. is magnetized Very so it's just clean. like so it's just like clean here she is if i could unlock and it and i guess this rear hitch is that custom yeah yeah okay. so so this is actually a, a modified um my fabricator have merged the the docking plate for the carry out the the latch pad i made this by myself this little carbon plate Okay. Uh, a, little awesome. a little finisher. Yeah. I had modified my um, metal tech, their rated hitch that they have uh, for the full towing capacity. Mm -hmm. um, I had it merged to the to the latch, so wow. that way I best of both worlds. That's incredible. Yep. See, it's the subtle details like yeah, that. Yes, it's the little things. And then uh, this, uh, I had this a uh, little homage to the GX 550 that's coming yes. out. I have the Tapo with like the the new style uh, logo that's kind of hidden on the Tapo. Yep. Um, so you can't really like see it with the, you know, with the door. It's uh, funny that this is here. I didn't even notice this because it was hot, hidden behind the tire, but yes. I had considered doing this mm -hmm. same font set up for the front grill for the front because grill, yes. I was really, I love the style of the grill, yeah. but I also love this font. That's the smaller font. Yeah, yeah it yeah. looks good. I get it. Great. That's such a cool touch. Yep. So here she is. I don't know what's back here, but <laughs> got the gas strut mod. Oh, wow. Unusual. Look at this. Gas, gas strut mod. Um, everything that you see here is uh, quite literally homebrew. It's either made in a driveway, made in a friend's garage or my old garage, or at the sidewalk. Wow. So everything's, uh, everything's. Um, <laughs> what an awesome lineup of just the raised containers. Oh yes, yes. I'm, uh, awesome I'm, uh, I'm for sure like a JDM wheel type of person. I'm sure you guys know that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so everything here, like I made my own, uh, my own table with a quick release. It's like a uh, hood latch stuff. Wow. Um, uh, this is my new uh, awesome auto, um, you know, raffle win, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but still, uh, you know, JW handle. I couldn't right. just paint it black. I did wrap it on the topo again because I'm a weirdo. Uh, for all the JDM nuts, I'm sure you guys know what these are. Like the v VIP scene, you know, like yes. where people build like you know like old aristos and yeah the slam yeah. like you know vip scene like that. people with tables and all that stuff i figured i had them for my old um uh ls build so um i kept them i wasn't sure what i was going to do with them until i started sleeping in the car i was like oh you know what maybe i could transfer over some of those stuff and surely enough i made it work it looks great so, yeah because then you can uh black it out when you're sleeping yeah so yeah you sleep so in. You, know, you could like relax and you know do all that stuff oh, that's um cool. and i have like the the lockout you know, like mud, yeah. where um, you could actually open the, the hatch from where you're sleeping is very helpful. So you don't have to like hop out, you can open it, you open the rig and be, be all good to That's go. That's a nice mod as well. There's a magnet mounted light. As you can see, I'm very... That's great. You love magnets. I love magnets. They're very versatile. It's yeah, great. they are, they are. One of the things, one of my priorities were headroom. As okay. far as like, you know, when you're sleeping, you want to be comfortable, you want to be able to like, I'm not a very big person, so like, room is not really but i, I don't want to feel claustrophobic when i'm sleeping i found the lowest profile possible like sleeping platform that's actually attached to the uh, mechanism for the third row seats mm -hmm. so nothing flies if you ever get in an accident yep. everything's going to be stay put everything's going to be behind the second row seat which is safety is important yes i got a, a trifold mattress on here that's folded for now because i'm traveling custom like topo sheets i love that because i'm a, <laughs> that's just the way it is and then um, this is one of the this is one of the things that I've made on my own that I'm you know I'm not I'm proud of it but you know it's it's uh, one of those uh, I just wanted to like show you guys uh, this is actually a it's an aluminum it's almost just like aluminum uh, tray that I've mounted and bolted onto the anchor points of the floor mm -hmm. to make it as low profile as possible so I can fit these um, uh, wolf pack uh, boxes so so essentially it's a fridge slide. Oh yes, okay. That comes out. 
so all my tools are in here oh, you know and great. you know like all my stuff is in there so like you know it's, it's very helpful very clean yeah, as you can see it's like it's not it's not your most polished work but it's hey, that's uh, great homebrew stuff you know and it works for me old yeah, school cross wrench from cusco nice <laughs> yeah um, that's really all you need is that yeah, as yeah. far so, as so like as far as drawer goes yeah like because really in the drawer like the length of the drawer um what what could you really fit in there you know and this is yeah. isolated it's not just one drawer it's like two bins for a specific you know like usage like kitchen stuff whatever it is so yeah that's that i wanted like a slim fridge because like the typical fridge that people have uh is like the you know like the the huge so i have a little boat fridge no on way. here it's like a drawer so uh i just have a you know i just have my drinks there if i wanted like uh i usually pack like you know veggies and stuff like on your road you have a little personalized like a uh, little uh single serve like smoothie maker yep. it's kind of nice you know a little oh, fuel on the great. road and what in, uh, a slim fridge setup that's yeah, great i love it and uh, that's my one biggest issue with the mm -hmm. fridge setups is they're normally so they're, big. They're, they're so tall and then you can't sleep inside the yeah because i used to have i used to have a rooftop tent on this thing i just i, I was over it like the clean up the fold up here if some if it was to rain the cleanup is basically no cleanup yeah. because you're inside you know and it's safer from the elements and i know you're not supposed to sleep inside your gx with the car running uh with the ac on uh, because of uh, carbon monoxide but i do have a carbon monoxide monitor in the truck so that's good just to make sure that you know for peace of mind you know like it's so, very efficient and it's very clean so yeah, i can appreciate you can you. see all the detail and the thought put into it thank you and i think it's a lot more thought than most people put into their builds oh, gosh. so it really stands out. I appreciate everything and all the time that you put into this build. It's very oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. I, I was never in a rush, but it's uh, when the bug hits, it never yes. stops. That's the uh, the Long Range America switch, which makes it like it feels like it belongs in the 120 panel over there. It looks great. Um, it looks factory. So basically, I wanted to keep the interior as you know, OEM as possible, um, you know, using like Lexus parts, like no Molly panels on the inside. I know those are super helpful. No big, you know, like a satellite GPS, iPad mm -hmm. in the middle, you know, mm -hmm. like the, the typical like stuff. Cause I do like to, I'm, a, I'm an aesthetic person. I don't like clutter. Mm -hmm. I like to see things that are kind of like, you know, slim and, you know, just, uh, just clean. I like that. That's and the wheel a, looks really clean. Yeah. That's actually, uh, I can see the paddles. Uh, that's actually a, uh, 2000 and <laughs> i've had that wheel since 2019 um the wheel is actually uh uh that's from a gsf um which they started using in rx 300s but mm -hmm. at that time i was like oh I, lo I love the little f sport badge in the bottom it looks awesome and the perforated uh leather is uh, what i was going for uh with the matching shift knob that i have over oh, there oh nice um so yeah everything's just like wrapped in like uh you know again paying homage to like the you know wood grain uh warrior name that the gx used to have uh, back in the days uh that's a drawing unit the non-nav conversion one of the best things i've ever done it just like updated the look of it course and they're so cleanly yes it, that's how it's looks supposed like it was made to be there yep there's something about a gx 470 that has a fresh uncracked dash All right, so I'm seeing an ARB compressor, but it looks like there's some other things going under here. What what have you done oh, under the hood here? Yes, yes. So uh, this is like the the tail end of the project. Toyota already perfected the motor, so you don't really need to do much there. But uh, the, all the surrounding, um, you know, like mods that uh, supporting mods to keep the GX as great as it is, is of course the the transmission um, yes. cooler. I did a little, you know, I'm a, I'm a aesthetic person, nice so, so the, yep, so wanted to like make sure that uh, I got this, uh, I think, Colin, I don't know how the name, the name of the Australian, um, so I'm using the FJ bracket on here, but I installed my own custom like uh, rubber bushing, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think as a, as a head bolt on the other side, mm -hmm. so that way to prevent the vibration and it has the proper spacing nice. between the cooler and the radiator. So you get the, or the AC condensers, yeah. So in between the two, so that way you know you don't have you don't have the other thing starving. I trimmed the shroud because people take this off, but this is actually probably the one most important cooling part of a GX is that keeping all the air where they're supposed to be, so that Flowing way they actually the right stay. You know, so the, all the CFMs that the engineers have this, yeah. you know, wanted That's to. That's a like, good point. You, you know, like the beauty plastics. I don't care if you take it off, but mm -hmm. this shroud is very very integral 
to the operation of the vehicle. So that's just me. Uh, this is the uh, Snowbound Customs washer fluid relocator. So that nice. way I don't have it here. When I run my 35s, I'm not going to be hitting <laughs> it. Other than that, you know, I'm trying to finish up my bracket. Uh, I Most of the ARB mounts, uh, you know, I love the Rago um, uh, fabrication mount over there. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have a rat's nest underneath that thing because of all the wiring and stuff. Yeah. And I like to actually hide, hide it. it. That's why it's called a beauty cover. That's yes. what they call it. So. Over here, I just have the air be mounted here. And uh, right here, you already MVP know. Uh, shout outs to, uh, you know, Phil out in uh, California, MEP tuned. It's quite literally the single most best performance mod that you could do for your GX. You know, if he has a tune available for it and you haven't done it yet, mm -hmm. the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. It's no longer hype. There's so many of us that's been running this tune. Yeah, and, it's been and, uh, tested pretty well. Yeah, it's, and the feedback um, is just great. Awesome person to work with. We joke around, I call him the K-Line King because quite literally he's the only one who has a license to tune this generation, you know, really? GX uh, and, and Forerunners because he has a license for like the older ECUs, so. Oh, uh, uh, I guess with regard to that tune, one of the things I was curious about, for me, at around 70, 75-ish, mm -hmm. with cruise control on, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you just start oscillating in Os this. The, it, the gear hunting. Does this get rid of that? Uh, it's, to me, you know, just driving here, just driving here. Um, after the tune, we do a lot of long distance highway driving. Um, it's severely, like, it's quite literally been improved, like, I would say, you can't get rid of it completely, because mm -hmm. the, the way the Toyota ECUs are, you know, like, built, obviously, you know, the cruise control doesn't know elevation. So like the moment it feels load, uh, but what it does is that the transition in shifts smooth. is smooth out and it keeps it on the correct power band where you're supposed to be. So you don't have those like violent downshifting. That, yeah, that's you know, what that's, I that's, that's the biggest issue. If you were to ask every single tuner for these trucks, at least for now, there's a reason why there's not a lot of information about it is because as I said, it's tricky. You, you, well, like, you know you go to KFC and it's good, right? Yeah. 27 secret spices. Yeah. Why would you give out the trade secrets? If everybody can do it, everybody would do it. Good you know point. what I mean? So so um, the lack of, you know, like information, not only from, you know, like Phil, like when people ask, so what exactly do you do? In like a business standpoint, you know, like why would you give up your hard work research? Exactly. Right? All I know is, is it works. It's proven. Um, I actually have a dyno uh, day uh, set up for this. I'm gonna do it like nice. a before and after, just so people can kind of see, you know, not affiliated by any means, but mm -hmm. I just love the guy. He's awesome. Um, and I I'm actually gonna be, uh, I'm thinking of like, you know, we're, we're having something set up, like kind of collaborative effort. I've been begging him to come to Florida and I think, I think he will. Well, if he comes to Florida, let me know because I think I've already been convinced just mm -hmm. from hearing you talk about all the improvements that have been made from it. I'd love to reach out to Phil and consider this for my GX as well. So I'll thank even you let you for drive all it. That info. Yeah, I would love to feel the throttle response yeah, to this and yeah. understand, you know, what that does to the GX and, yeah. and how it drives. But that's awesome. All right. Well, this was an awesome build breakdown. I appreciate your time. Thank you for showing us all the crazy details. This is one of those things where you see photos of a build and you think, wow, there's already, from a photo you can see there's a lot of stuff done to the GX, but I didn't realize after you went through all these details, all the hard work that you put into it, and not only that, the thought process behind it all, and it really, full circle, made me really respect what you've done here. Appreciate you, the sir. The build is incredible. Thank you for your time with no, us. No, no, of course, of course, man. And uh, Chris, thank you. Is there yeah, anything yeah. you want to shout out and say to oh, YouTube? Like, uh, basically, I just wanted to shout out everybody that's kind of like, you know, helped me along the way. You know, um, there's, you know, obviously everything is like done by myself or like homebrew, but there's a lot of like, um, you know, like, you know, mechanical help and, you know, like things here and there that's, uh, but for sure, you know, um, uh, my techs at Toyota, you know, like uh, Gio and Giovanni, you know, like they're, they're great people, always give me a hand whenever I need something uh, or like things that I could, you know, like that I need extra hands for. Um, uh, lastly, you know, like I want to take, you know, modded by Phil, you know, it's not a plug, it's just, it's just all love. That's all it is, you know. Guy always took care of me, made everything good. The biggest shout out that I have is like Dobinson's. Yes. Uh, you know, the Dobinson's family, you know, they treated me like family this whole weekend. You know, we had like a little safe house going on, you know, <laughs> had a little fun, you know, like I don't speak Spanish, everybody speaks Spanish. Oh, yeah. But they made me feel like, 
you know, they really nice. feel like I'm family. Shout outs to nice. David Otero, amazing gentleman, you know, like the success of Dobinson's reflect on that level because he's just a good person in general. And uh, I think one thing is like we forget, uh, I want to thank you as a creator, right? Oh, thank you. Uh, people don't, people forget that, you know, like the, the amount of information that you put out for the GX community, you're putting the effort of your own time to kind of expose the platform and like, you know, give the people that are like, that don't know much about the, you know, even like the simplest things, right? Um, installing a trim, installing speakers, giving the proper information. Super, super proud. So give them a follow, a like. I'm not much of a social media person, but I've heard you guys talk about it a lot. Hit that subscribe button. Yes. Is that, is that, is that, that, is that what button. it is? Yep. Yep. You got this awesome moto koozie. <laughs> So yeah. So well, thanks like, again, Chris. Yeah, I, appreciate I again appreciate your course, time, course, and I appreciate you appreciating the work that goes into the builds or into the videos because oh, yeah, yeah. videos are time consuming, Effort. and some of them are simple, detailed videos. But I try to put all that information out there, even for the beginner getting into it. Um, maybe not as much so for the experienced guy who's doing a build, but in the future with our GX build that we've been working on now for a few years, we're getting there. Where it's a slow process, but we're going to get yeah, there. Yeah. And uh, I'm very excited for all the new stuff that's going to be coming to our build. And I will definitely be reaching out to you for some pointers, pointers on yeah. just what you think of certain products that you've done. Understood. So, again, Chris's awesome GX build, the Poopy Brown build, the Mr. Hanky. Lux Runner. Lux Runner, yep. Thank Been you. Been a nickname for a while. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate everything. Transition. <laughs> <laughs>